Schmack of my God, people. It's time for part two of my top 50 Black Sabbath songs. In case you didn't tune in last week on part one, I'm only talking about 70 Sabbath. In the future, I'll do the Dio, my favorite Dio songs, Tony Martin songs, and so on. Just focus in on my all-time favorite band, 70 Sabbath. So, uh, it's my opinion. If you have a different opinion, that's awesome. And if you want to write down, you know. I know it's 50 songs. I know it's a mission. But I'd be interested to read it if you put it up. Um, so, let's do it. We left at number 35 in part one. We're going into number 34. Off the first Black Sabbath album, Wicked World. Awesome, dark, moody. The reason why this band started heavy metal. Right there, Wicked World. Says it all. At number 33, off Technical Ecstasy. Man, I love this one. Bill Ward sings it. It's a ballad. It's all right. Love that song. Love the melody. Very Beatlesque. Very unsabbath. I know a lot of people don't like it. I love that song. It's all right at number 33. At number 32, off Master Reality. Would you like to see the Pope at the end of the rope? Do you think he's a fool? After Forever. Awesome song. Pretty much a pro-God song, if you listen to the lyrics. Uh, Black Sabbath had a lot of songs that were anti-Satanist. But, you know, they got tagged that because, you know, people are fools. All right, at number 31, eh, probably their most popular song. Well, pro definitely their most popular song. Paranoid. Kind of low, but I'm not doing that to be countercultural. I really do think there's 30 more songs I like more. But I love Paranoid, and it belongs on my list. It doesn't belong to be an honor honorary mention. Love it. At number 30, another title track from their last album with Ozzy and Bill Ward together, Never Say Die. Great crushing opening song. Love it. Straightforward, badass tune. At number 29, off of Sabbath Bloody Sabbath, Smoke It, Get High. Talking about killing yourself to live. Classic that kicks off part side two of the classic Sabbath Bloody Sabbath. Man, all the way at 29. Jeez. Sabbath owns so much that it's down at 29. And number 28, another song sung by Bill Ward. If you're a big Sabbath fan, you know what song I'm talking about because he's only sang two songs in Sabbath. The last song off Never Say Die. Swing in the Chain. Awesome song. Absolutely love that tune. And, and, you know, the story behind that song is that Ozzy was supposed to sing it, but he refused. So then Bill did it. And I'm glad Bill did, because I love Bill's voice. Wish there was more songs he sang back in the 70s. And I love his solo work. Uh, Ward 1, fucking phenomenal. All right. At number 27, wow, all the way down to 27. Should be higher. Off Paranoid, Hand of Doom. What you gonna do? Dark, depressing, Vietnam vet, drugs, heroin. Hand of Doom rules at 27. At 26, oh, many will disagree with me putting this above Hand of Doom. But you're not me. Off Never Say Die Again. The second track. Johnny Blade. Love it. Believe it was written about Geezer's Butler, uh, Geezer Butler's brother. Awesome song. Experimental. A lot of Never Say Die is experimental. And I love it. What drumming on that song. Bill Ward's amazing. And number 25. Off the first Black Sabbath album. Yeah, other than the title track, I think it's the most popular song off the album. N.I.B. Dark song. This is where they get the tag for being uh, satanic. 
because it's a song about the devil falling in love. Great song, though. Well, I should also add, basically, basically an NIB, the bass solo in the beginning of the song. and You know, because as I said, there's a lot of Black Sabbath instrumentals that bleed into songs. So, number 25, it's basically an NIB. At number 24, the song that ends, Paranoid, and yes, lyrics written by Gasp. Ozzy Osbourne wrote these lyrics. Talking about fairies wear boots. Crushing song. Absolutely love that tune. Great way to end that album. Awesome. At number 23, damn, all the way down to 23. It's a masterpiece. The song that ends Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath. Spiral Architect. What a song that is. Amazing, uh, Acoustic intro into this bombastic masterpiece. Number 23, Spiral Architect. At number 22, a song about marijuana, even though uh, Geezer went on to say that uh, it was about tea. <laughs> like a, There is a tea out there called Sweet Leaf, and that's the song, Sweet Leaf. Uh, I remember seeing it in a store. Uh, there's a... <laughs> There's a Sweet Leaf brand tea out there. But no, this song is obviously about marijuana. And that cough in the beginning is Tony Iommi coughing after he took a hit of a joint that Ozzy passed him. Wasn't supposed to be on the record, but it was recording and they kept it in. All right, at number 21. Oh, man, all the way down to 21. Jesus. But as I look at the songs above it, yeah, a lot of you out there are going to disagree that it should be this low. But it's an amazing song. And I, I'm telling you, I love all these songs. The first Black Sabbath song off the first Black Sabbath album is called Black Sabbath. And yes, Ozzy Osbourne wrote the lyrics to this song. True story. And that's a fact, Jack. I have a video of Geezer Butler actually saying it. Game changer of a song. Amazing. All right, at number 20. See, a lot of you disagree that this shouldn't be above Black Sabbath. I know. I already know it. But you know what? Walk in my shoes. And you won't see it that way. The song that kicks off side two of Technical Ecstasy. All moving parts stand still. Giza wrote this song about the President of the United States that's a transvestite. Kind of an odd, uh, <laughs> an odd subject matter, huh? Awesome song. Absolutely love it. At number 20. So now we're up to the top 20. All right. Um, do, 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 do. At number 19. Pff, fucking great tune. Very, a dark horse, underrated, amazing song off Sabotage. The song that starts side two, the thrill of it all, man, just the breaks and the, I, I can't, I can't stress how much I love and it just gets better from here, man, as far as songs I love, but thrill it all. Amazing. All right. At number 18, this is my favorite song off technical ecstasy. So. Obviously, it'll be the last song on here from that album. Phenomenal tune. Absolutely love it. Very, like Thrill of It All, very, very underrated, not talked about enough, I don't think. The second track, You Won't Change Me. My God, do I love that song. It's phenomenal. All right, at number 17. A lot of people will put this one higher, but hey, I think it's pretty high for me. Um, the song that starts Sabotage, Hole in the Sky. Mm. And I do admit it should be in the top 10, but it just, it's just not. Hole in the Sky, man, just so organic and awesome. It's like, what I love about this band, you can hear in this song. It rules. All right, at number 16, oh man, another one. Another amazing song. 
that uh, is off volume four. What a killer doomy intro. Under the Sun. Man Oshevitz. Do I love that one? At number 15, oh, a popular one. And God, I love this one. The song that kicks off Paranoid. War Pigs. Yes, it's been played to death, but I'm not burnt out on it. I love it. I still love it. Shit, it made it to the number 15. At number 14, oh boy, this is a good one. And oddly enough, this is one where um, Geezer Butler wrote the riffs, which is which really threw me for a loop because, you know, it sounds like an Iomi riff because it's so cool. The second song off Sabbath, Bloody Sabbath, A National Acrobat. It's a song about sperm trying to reach the egg. Did you know that? You probably did. If you didn't, now you know. National Acrobat, man, and I love that middle section, that burn out, burn out, na, 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 na. that riff, oh man, amazing. Number 13, oh, Pure Doom off Volume 4, Cornucopia. Ooh, such a doomy intro, and man, um, Geezer Butler almost left the band because he was having such a difficult time coming up with a drum pattern for this song. And damn, did he come up with something killer or what? But I don't expect anything less from the great Bill Ward. Cornucopia at number 13. At number 12. Oh, it's my favorite song off Paranoid. So this is the last song off Paranoid off on the list. Electric Funeral. A song that scared the hell out of me as a little kid. When me and my brother shared a room and he would play Paranoid, he had the vinyl. And then when he put this song on, I'd run out of the room. Yeah, I, was ki- I was a kid. It was the early 70s. Very God-fearing time. Amazing song. Electric Funeral Rules. All right. At number 11. Oh, again, my favorite off the first album. So this is the last time you, I mention a song off the first album on my top 50 list. Uh, if you think, uh, oh, well, where's this song? Well, watch part one. Because I pretty much name every song off the first album on my list. Uh, Sleeping Village slash Warning. Warning, a cover, Ansley Dunbar. Uh, the guy that played drums in Journey, and he also played drums on uh, the White Snake album, the popular one that was still the night. Uh, my favorite. I love the hell out of that song. It was on uh, We Sold Our Souls for Rock and Roll, my first Black Sabbath album I bought with my own money. And I've always loved the warning. I love that solo that Tony does, the unaccompanied solo. It's just the whole vibe of that song. It's just epic. It fucking rules. So there you go, part two of the Black Sabbath uh, top 50 songs. Next week, part three, which is my top 10 Black Sabbath songs. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this. And uh, hey, if you want to donate, I got a PayPal below. If you want to subscribe, click that subscribe button and that little bell for notifications. And uh, hope you guys are here next week to check out my top 10 70s Black Sabbath songs. Have a good one, everybody. And Smack them a gob. Hey, check out my podcast, The Vieira Vault, on Spreaker, YouTube, and iTunes. Subscribe. The links are below. Looking for some new podcasts to listen to? Well, Rat Sound Review Network has plenty of shows to choose from. Like Rat Sound Review, where they discuss the latest rock and metal news as well as interviews and albums. Album vs. Album, the King Diamond Podcast, with Wayne Noon, Greg Noggle, and sometimes this guy. Smack him a gob! Ralph Vieira is also on our network with the Vieira Vault. There's also Old Man Metal's Musings, where he discusses heavy metal and beer. Music is Life with Lou Mavs. The Right Opinion for Those Who Love Politics. A South Park podcast called Suck My Balls. The Infinite Fringe. A watch-along wrestling show called Beyond Bushido, ex Stradivarius guitarist, the Timo Tolki podcast, and the great Harry Barnett with I Don't Even Like Podcasts. So 
So check out RatSaladReview.com or search Rat Salad Review on YouTube, Podbean, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and more. 